Well, a new videography program at Central Lakes College is the first of its kind to come to North Central Minnesota. And only in its second semester, it's already capturing attention on and off camera. For this week's In Focus, Jamil Donath shows us how students are getting a hands-on degree in videography. Lights, camera, action. It's great. Right here. These students are not famous producers, acclaimed editors, or award-winning videographers. But with the help of Central Lakes College videography degree, they just might be. That's what we got flags for. Christian Hoffman has always been interested in video production, but finding a program to fit his passion was the hard part. But he could have all the interest in the world, but it's not going to do anything for him unless they know how to do this. I've had worse teachers than that. Michael Murata worked for Apple and was always interested in learning more about Final Cut Pro, but he lacked the skills. I've always had interest in it, but I've never been good at it. Moved the little girl back one row. Tammy Haberly had taken computer courses as far as she could go, but her dead end turned into a new beginning when she found out that CLC had videography. I looked into it and thought, wow, I can do that. We need those long cables. Instructor Mark Ambrose was part of the group that helped bring this videography vision to life. I've kind of been involved for three years helping them decide what classes, what kind of equipment to get. Ambrose worked as a news photographer at WDIO in Duluth, then CARE 11 for 11 years before moving to Brainerd to work for an outdoor television production company. They're lit well right here. This 60-credit program isn't just about learning videography skills from a book or a lecture. It focuses on what these students can learn from doing it themselves. These students have learned more in the little bit of time that they've had to take a camera out and figure out how to make something happen than five hours of me talking in that classroom over there. The project that the class is working on now is they're setting a scene to film a short film. And what they're doing is setting up various different lights to test the lighting. And then they plug into the TV to see if they've got the shot. On's better. Many of these students have been in the program since the beginning. It's one of the original students. While others are just being broken in. Definitely learned more than I thought it would be in three weeks in. This program is based around four key skills needed to get a job in the media industry. Running camera, editing, writing, and producing. If you can get semi-skilled in those four things, then you can do any job out there that exists in our industry. An average day for a videography what? student is from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. And in those seven Seven hours, there is never a dull moment. Here's your camera. Now let's go shoot. Now let's set up some lights. Let's figure out how we want to do the shot. Let's work on Final Cut Pro. So every day is an eventful day. So when these students have finished their two years, Hoffman, Murata, Haberly, and the rest of the class crew may not get a job in Hollywood or an offer at ESPN right out of school, but they will have the skills to get there on their own. For this week's In Focus, Jamil Donath, Lakeland News. And the video program also has a studio equipped with state-of-the-art lighting, a green screen, and brand-new widescreen computers for editing. Looks like a good program there, no doubt.